Hey, hey, hey. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay. Very good, Erika. I'm happy to know that. Joel, how are you? How's everything today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Oh, good. Nice to, nice to hear that. But is it hot next, next to your house? Is hot or is fresh? Yes. Uh, it's hot, but ahorita tengo gripe. Oh, sorry to hear that, you know. A lot of liquids, right? Water, juice, no tequila, eh? Mm. Only <laughs> uh, pollito soup, pio pio. <laughs> pio, pio Pura soup, agua right? y yeah. suero. You're right. Hey, Maribel, how are you? You're fine. Okay, good. Very good. Danny, Ivan, Stella, and Mr. Amaya. Welcome, everybody, right? So we're going to start right now. Start right now. Okay. Here we are. Okay. So tonight we're going to see uh, how to use should and should not, right? Should and should not. Today is February the 9th. The year is 2023, right? 2023. Okay. Uh, this is the class number 12. Class number 12, right? And we'll go for... 20 classes, right? So today we are in the class number 12. Good, that's it. Now we're going to start with the objective, right? Unit three is communication at the workplace, right? Hey, Joel, can you read the objective for tonight, please? Hey, yes. Joel, you're okay. Uh, you're okay. Can you participate, Joel? Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. uh, co communication at the workplace. I will be able, able to mm -hmm. read to, ¿cómo se dice esa palabra? Appropriate. Appropriate. In appropriate. Appropriate. In, uh, mm -hmm. in appropriate. And inappropriate, uh, appropriate. Inappropriate, uh huh, yes. Appropriate. Behavior at work. Very behavior good. Work. The behavior is how do you act? How is your conduct, right? La conducta, como se porta, right? Are you a good employee or are you a bad employee, right? It's your behavior, comportamiento, right? So this is the, the, the objective for tonight, right? Now, uh, let's go to the next one. Behavior, right? Comportamiento. Behavior is the way that someone acts in different situations, right? La forma como alguien actúa en diferentes situations, right? When you are working, when you are in the school, when you are in an English class, when, when you are with the cheros, on Friday, <laughs> how do you act? What, how, what, what is your behavior, right? That's it, okay? And uh, hello, Rosy, welcome. In here we have some example, how to use uh, the word behavior, right? It says, um, talking back to your boss is a rude behavior. Okay, contestarle al jefe. Decirle algo feo al jefe cuando lo regaña, pues. Okay. Um, it's not good, right? It's not very good. So, other example is speaking with your mouth full. Oh, God. You're eating, right? Está comiendo y de repente, pues, hello. And we can see 
the tortilla inside right <laughs> okay my goodness <laughs> it's disgusting disgusting behavior right so close your mouth <laughs> when you eat when you eat close your mouth right do not uh, open right <laughs> when you're eating okay hablar con la boca llena no it's disgusting behavior right the factory expects a good behavior from all the employees, right? La fábrica espera que ustedes tengan un buen comportamiento. So everybody, right? That's it. Also, gossiping, you know, chambreando, el chambre, el witty witty, right? About people is considered inappropriate behavior. Yes? Bad, bad, bad. Okay. No vayan a la tienda, no vayan a la tortillería. A saber lo que hace el vecindario. No, 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 no. No, no gocito. <ríe> o no vayan al cafetín de ahí del trabajo, ¿verdad? Porque <ríe> ahí transitan todos los chambres. Gossiping about people is considered an inappropriate, listen, inappropriate behavior, right? Okay? Good. Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Behavior. Behavior. The way that someone, the way that someone acts in different situations. The way that someone acts in different situations. Talking back to your boss is a rude behavior. Talking back to your boss is a rude behavior. Speaking with your mouth full. Speaking with your mouth full. Is a disgusting behavior. Is a disgusting behavior. The factory expects, the factory expects a good behavior. From all employees. Hello, hello. Adelia, yes. Eh, va manejando, Adelia. Casi no le copio, pero me imagino que va manejando. ¿Está? Va a estar de oyente. Hello, okay. hello, hello, Adelia. Uh -huh. Ahora sí le copio. Mejor. I am driving. Ah, uh, good. No problem. Get... No okay. problem. I understand. Good. Be careful, please. Be careful. Especialmente con esos trailers ¿va? que van con todo ahí. <ríe> Cuidadito. Ok. Continue. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. The factory expects a good behavior from all employees. Employees. Gossiping Gossiping about people Gossiping about people is considered an inappropriate behavior an inappropriate behavior Good Questions class any question Hello, everybody. Questions? Okay. The most important part here is what is behavior? Que es comportamiento, right? It's the way you act. Como usted actúa. The way you act in different situations. The way a person acts in different situations. In the school, in at home, in the factory, in the office, on the street. 
in a restaurant, right? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. In the in the Stadio Cuscatlán, <laughs> when Alianza is playing, right? <laughs> okay, that's behavior. Okay. Now, let's continue, right? Well, today we're going to learn about uh, should. Okay, should, right? The model should. Oh, I have a, a message here. Kevin. And I understand, Kevin. Very good. Oh, yeah, to Kevin. That's it. Okay, so please read. And I will, I will uh, pass the list, right? Pass the attendance. Uh, Adelia, Daniel, and Kevin, ya les tome asistencia. Adelia, Daniel, y Kevin. Now, Brian, hello, Brian. Mr. Monterrosa, are you there? Okay. Carlos Vega. Uh, Clarissa. Present teacher. Yo estoy aquí conectada. Excelentoso, Clarissa. Okay. Eh, okay. Maribel. Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. Elmer. Él va a estar de oyente, me imagino. Por aquí lo vi a Elmer. Vamos a ver. Quiere mándeme un mensaje, Elmer, por favor. Al chat para tomarle la asistencia, ¿sí? Va a estar de oyente, Elmer, sí. Ok. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Ya está registrado, Elmer. Thank you very much. Good. Now, eh, Erika. Presentation. Thank you. Guillermo. Ivan. Mr. Tobar. No, no sé si me escuchó. No, no. Guillermo. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry. No lo había escuchado, pero ya estamos. No, no, no. Tal vez el micrófono ahí, pero ya estamos. Thank you. And welcome, Guillermo. Good. Y que conste que ya no lo voy a confundir con Giovanni. Oiga. Ya no vuelve a pasar nunca. Gracias, señor. Nunca, nunca ha pasado ni va, ni va a pasar otra vez. Okay. Jacqueline. Miss Pérez de Celedón. Celedón, sorry, excuse me. No here today. Eh, Joel. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Amaya. Here. Thank you. Carla Beatriz. Carla. Giovanni. Alicia. Present teacher. You, Mirna. Teacher. Yes, yes. Voy a estar unos minutos de oyente porque me da la tarde. Alicia, Alicia, right? Sí, Alicia. Very good, thank you. Mirna. Thanks. Estela. Estela. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rosy. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, should. When do you use should? Uh, okay. Should is a way to give a suggestion about something that is appropriate, right? Es una forma de sugerir. Algo, ¿no? Algo que es apropiado. Something that is correct. Okay? And here we have the structure. Look, we have uh, the subject plus the model should, of course. The base form of the main verb. In this case, you don't say drinking or, or drank or, or to drank. No, no, no. The base form, right? La, la base del verbo, ¿sí? Uh, and then we have this example, right? You should drink a lot of water. Hey, Joel, listen, this is for you. Oh, mire, Joel, pensando en usted, dice esta oración. Sin querer ahí. Eh? 
<laughs> you should drink a lot of water, water, right? Oops, a moment to say water, but no, no, water, water. Yeah. You should drink a lot of water, especially when it's very hot. He should exercise every day, up and down, up and down, or exercise. They should study in course. Course, they should study in, right? Nice. It's an excellent center, right? And Pirulais, Pirulais should walk more frequently. Give me a second. Okay, good. Pirulais should walk more frequently, right? Ruh, ruh, ruh. Pirulais, Piru. I'm talking about Pirulais, do you know uh, the, the origin of the name? ¿Saben de dónde se originó el nombre Pirulais? Bueno, hay varias historias, pero aquí les voy a poner. Es que antes había una propaganda que decía que los perritos deberían estar libres de pulgas, free of lice, free of life, free of life, era una medicina, ¿no? Era una medicina que se usaba para los perritos, y era en inglés, obviamente, free of life, libre de pulgas, pero en la gente en lugar de decir free of life, decían firu lice, firu lice, y de ahí quedó el, el nombre de firu, <ríe> el famoso firu. Ok, continue. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. You should drink a lot of water. You should drink a lot of water. He should exercise every day. They should study study English. They should study English. Pirulai should walk more frequently. Pirulai should walk more frequently. O Blacky, o o canelo, o, o peluche, o como se llama su perrito. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, any question? Let me see how's pronunciation, right? Uh, Rosie, please, would you like to read all the sentences for the class, please? I want to check pronunciation, please. Las esas de show. Show, sure, yes. Okay. Eh, it's a way to oh, no, no. here you should, you should oh yeah please you thanks, should thanks. you should drink a lot of water he should exercise every day they should study English Firula should walk more frequently frequently Frequently. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rosie. Uh, tonight I have Dudley again, and again, right? Dudley is going to say congratulations, right, to you. Okay. Now, uh, Estela, can you help me, please? Read the sentence. The same sentence that Rosiva read, please. The same sentence. Read. Um, you should. It's a way. To... No, no, no. You should. Desde acá del inicio. Uh -huh. You should. No, no. You should drink. Ah. You should drink a lot of water. Of water. He should exercise every day. 
they, they should study English. English. Pirulai should work more frequently. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Good evening. Okay, very good. And the last one, right, please. Um, uh, Mr. Amaya, please, Carlos Amaya, can you read the same sentences, please, the last time? The four? The four of them, please. He should drink a lot of water. He should exercise every day. Uh, they should study English. Firulai should walk more frequently. Okie dokie. Good pronunciation, especially Firulais. Okay. Clap to you, Carlos. Okay. Now, let's continue, right? And this is the use of should in affirmative, right? Now, we're going to check the use of should in negative, shouldn't, right? Shouldn't. Shouldn't is a way to give a suggestion, una forma de sugerir algo, right? About something that is not appropriate. I mean, you don't do that. There's no lo hagas, no lo hagas. It's a way to give a suggestion about something that is not appropriate. For example, Pedro shouldn't litter on the street, right? Pedro no debería tirar basura en la calle, eh? He, sh he shouldn't litter on the street. My brother shouldn't say mean words. I mean, it's malas palabras, right? Mean words. The man shouldn't use drugs. Okay. Paz shouldn't play the Oops. Oopsie. Sorry, se me olvidó que casi todos son de Santana. No hubiera puesto el, el metapan, quizá. Hoy. Sorry, no, ya, es, ya se fue la oración, lo siento. El pan no debería jugar tan mal. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, pan shouldn't play that bad. Now, please, everybody, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Pedro shouldn't litter on the street. My brother shouldn't say mean words. The man shouldn't use drugs. Fast shouldn't play that bad. Okay. Now we have some students to repeat the four sentences, right, please, Joel? Can you help me with the four sentences? Read them, please. Read the four sentences. Starting with Pedro, right? Okay. Uh, Pedro, sure now. Okay. Lisa, no, Lisa, Lisa. Sorry, sorry, Joel. Shouldn't. Sure. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Okay, that's it. Should. Should. Should, should, shouldn't, shouldn't. Excellent. Pedro, Pedro shouldn't. Pedro shouldn't litter on the street. My brother shouldn't say mean words. The man shouldn't use drugs. Fast oh, shouldn't. Uh -huh. Fast shouldn't play duck bag. Thank you very much, Well, And um, notice that when I say Pedro, my brother, the man, etc., those are singular, right? So I say Pedro liters. My brother says the man uses in first place. Right? But in this case, because you're using the auxiliary, you don't have the S, right? Como estamos usando un modal aquí, Un auxiliar, dijeron, ¿verdad? Este, no necesito usar la S en tercera persona singular, right? Okay, any question so far about the use of should in affirmative and shouldn't in negative? 
soy Shudes, para dar consejos o sugerencias acerca de algo que es correcto, que es bueno, ¿no? Y uh, Shuren es para dar sugerencias acerca de algo que no es bueno, y que no deberíamos hacerlo, ¿sí? ¿Ok? ¿Questions? Ok. Let's continue, right? Now we're going to uh, say should or shouldn't, right? My brother has a cold. Okay, cold, a cold. He shouldn't play soccer today. Okay, so because you're sick, you have a cold. No, 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 you shouldn't, right? No debería jugar fútbol. Right? He should. Él no debería jugar. Good. That's it, right? Now, uh, Mirna, you let to my assistance. Brian, Carlos Vega. Present teacher. Ah, oh, good. Thank you. Welcome, Carlos. No, Brian. Oh, Brian, Brian. Oh, Puede participar, ¿verdad, Brian? Afirmativo. Yes, excelentoso. Eh, Jacqueline. Carla Beatriz. Giovanni. Okay. Cool. So we're going to start with um, Ivan. Please, Ivan. My sister has a class tomorrow. Hi, she, teacher. Uh, hi. She um should sure should sure study at home. She should. My sister has a class tomorrow. She should study tonight. Very good. Excellent puzzle, right? Very good. So number three, um, Guillermo, please. I have a headache. I have a headache, right? We should go to a concert tonight or we shouldn't go to a concert. Imagine scorpions. We shouldn't. Scorpions, it's in, it's in concert. Bueno, scorpion viene en, en abril, ¿verdad? Va a estar bueno el concierto, bueno. Okay. <laughs> La number three, ¿cierto, teacher? Number three, please, yes. Okay. I have a headache. A headache? Uh, headache. A headache. Mm -hmm. a headache. Uh, we should, shouldn't. We shouldn't. Shouldn't. Uh, ¿Qué es lo que dice, teacher? Me tapó. Go, go. <laughs> uh, we shouldn't uh, go to a concert tonight. Excelentoso. Okay, let's go to the next one, please. Erika, number four. He's yes. very handsome, very, very beautiful, very attractive. Handsome. He's he very handsome. He uh, should be an actor. He should, right? It's todo un kinfli, right? So he should be an actor. <laughs> okay. Now, number five, please. Uh, who's next? Um, uh, Danny, please. No, no, no. Maribel, excuse me. Maribel. She hurt her back. Se lastimó la espalda, señora. So she should lie down or she shouldn't lie down? Shouldn't. Se lastimó la espalda y ella debería descansar. Huh? Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Ah, should, should. Um, should. Should. Debería descansar. Alguien que se lastime la espalda. Se la regó, ¿verdad? Pues tiene que descansar. Ok. My father cut his finger. Cut his finger, right? He should make lunch today or he shouldn't make lunch today. The question goes to, to Clarissa. Clarissa, should or shouldn't make lunch? Ahí, este, hace, no sé todo el día. Um, should. He should, se cortó el dedo y va a cocinar esta noche. 
Um, general, a student. Mm. Student, right? Okay. Student. Nice, nice, Clarissa. Student. Student. Shouldn't make lunch today, right? Iba a hacer sopa de pata el señor, pero mejor no, porque se fregó el dedo ahí. Mejor no. no. Se le cortó. <laughs> yes. Okay, number seven says, we're going to bed late. Like, like, like okay. You, right? Gracias. Esta noche. Bueno, vamos a ir tarde a la camita, ¿verdad? Pero, pero, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Permítame un segundito. Ahí está, okay. We should get up early tomorrow or we shouldn't get up early tomorrow. So the question goes to, and the Oscar goes to, uh, Brian, please. Shouldn't. Shouldn't, correct. Nice. Permítame. Shouldn't, right? No, no. No tienen que levantarse tarde, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque mañana... A mí, puedo irme en noche a la, a la cama porque mañana me voy a levantar tipo domingo, me voy a levantar tipo 11. Ok, and... Number eight, I burn my hand. Quemé la mano. Oops. So I should or I shouldn't? The question goes to... Rosy again. Please. I sh should. I should. I should see a doctor, right? Any question, class? Questions? No, okay. So let's practice pronunciation, right? My brother has a cold. Repeat, please. My brother has a cold. My brother, my brother has a cold. He shouldn't play soccer tonight. Uh, sorry, today. <laughs> he shouldn't play soccer today. He shouldn't play soccer today. Number two, my sister has a class tomorrow. She should study tonight. I have a headache. Headache. We shouldn't go to a concert tonight. He's very handsome. He's very ugly. Oh, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> handsome, right? He should be an actor. She hurt her back. Hurt her back. She hurt her back. She should lie down. My father cut his finger. Cut. Finger. He shouldn't make lunch today. He should... Oh, sorry, aquí me faltó una D. Ahorita me voy dando cuenta. Pero ahí saben ustedes que lleva una D, ¿verdad? Sorry, siempre hay un error de dedito ahí. Okay, number seven, please. We're going to bed late today. We're going to bed late today.
we shouldn't get up early tomorrow. We shouldn't get up early tomorrow. I burned my hand. Burn. I burn my hand. I should see a doctor. I should see a doctor. Good. Any question? Any question, class? I don't know. Teacher. You don't know. <laughs> Ivan, no. Come on, tell me questions about meaning, about vocabulary, maybe. Algo, alguna palabra que no entienda por ahí, Ivan. You can say, teacher, how do you say cold in Spanish, for example? It's refrio, refrio, cold. When you say, I have a cold, it's tiene un refrio, ¿verdad? El refrio, pues, no, normalmente es eh, uh, runny nose, que es mocoso, ¿verdad? Uh, uh, you're sneezing, <laughs> right? And that's it, right? But with the flu, the flu, aquí está la diferencia con la gripe, ¿verdad? The flu. The flu is más, más completa, ¿verdad? Más, más grave, ¿no? La gripe. Incluye fiebre, dolor de hueso, que okay? uh, heartburn, fever. Runny nose, cough, <laughs> cough, right? And a lot of symptoms, right? Eh, mi teoría, por ejemplo, acerca del COVID-19 es que el COVID en realidad era una gripe súper fuerte. Era una gripe súper fuerte, en mi opinión. No sé si estoy en lo correcto, pero eso es lo que yo creo. ¿no? Como era tan fuerte, los que tenían ciertas enfermedades, pues murieron, ¿verdad? Tremendo esa enfermedad, ¿ok? Y aquí ya se me borró todo. I'm sorry. Me borró todo aquí. Ok. Good. No questions. Let's continue, right? Good. Now, here we have some sentences. And we are going to write. We're going to write the sentences using should or shouldn't, right? Okay, let me see who's going to help me right now. Uh, Estela, please. Number one, Estela, please. Can you help me? We go out for dinner today. Pochito. Uh huh, Stella. Remember the structure is salted. Salt. Right? Uh, uh, the modal should or shouldn't, right? Vamos a regresar por acá para Here, right? Look. Salted. Should. The base form and the complement. And when it is negative, subject should not or shouldn't in contraction, right? The base form and the complement. So the same we're going to make here, right? Subject, should or shouldn't. And then the verb go in this case, right, Stella? Okay, ready? Please help me. Okay, so Javier, Javier, Carlos, sorry, Carlos, I, I don't know I, 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 why I say Javier, sorry, de donde me sal, salió el nombre, excuse me, eh, Carlos Amaya, please, ah, es que el viejo Bel, perdón, Carlos Bel, I'm sorry, Carlos, eh, okay, Carlos, can you make the sentence, please? Mm -hmm. 
What sentence? Number one. Can you see the it? The first one. Please. Okay. Uh, go out for dinner tonight? Uh huh. Yes. But the, the subject. What is the subject, Carlos? We? We, correct. Continue. We should go out for dinner tonight. We should go out for dinner tonight, right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We don't want to cook. Uh huh, that's okay. Uh, something like Chinese but, food. But right? We shouldn't go out for dinner tonight because we don't have money. Well, you're right. <laughs> okay, but at least for some choripanes, maybe you, you have enough money to pay that, right? <laughs> okay. Number yeah. Two. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. Uh, well, number two, Joel. Joel. Can you hear me, Joel? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, number, number two. Number two, okay. yes, please. Okay. Uh, he, he. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Let me see. He. He. He shouldn't. He shouldn't. <laughs> He shouldn't, sorry, he shouldn't, no go. Oh, oh no, 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 no right. go. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, well, remember that the word, the contraction in apostrophe P is not, right? Uh, so you, yes, don't, you, yes. don't, you don't need to say it. Uh -huh. So he shouldn't. He shouldn't go, go. To the movies. Every day. Every day. Every day, right? Thank you, Joel. Okay, number three. Shouldn't. Shouldn't, shouldn't go to the movies every day. Thank you. Now, uh, who's next? Mm. Tenemos pocos participantes, ¿verdad? Me siento un poco triste a veces cuando quisiera que todos participaran, ¿verdad? Pero a veces no se puede. I understand. Ok, Iván, please help me, Iván. Take a nap means teacher. tomarse una siesta, right, Iván? Eh, she? Sí. She should should taste Taste I not tea afternoon. This afternoon. 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 Yes. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Now, um, who's next? Um, Guillermo, right? Number four, Guillermo. Okay, uh, my daughters, my daughters uh, shouldn't go. Uh, shouldn't go to bed at eleven o'clock. Yes, eleven. Why? It's too late, right? It's too late. Uh -huh. I have a message here. Give me a second. Vamos a leer este mensaje. Ah, oh, good. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you very much. Now, uh, I need 
somebody read for me. Let me see. Uh, I, I, I lost the order, sorry. No me acuerdo si, en qué orden iba. Déjeme ver. Ah, Guillermo, yes. Guillermo, please, can you... No, ¿quién acaba de participar? Iván o Guillermo. Perdón, ya me equivoqué, ya me, me perdí. Yo, teacher Guillermo. Guillermo, ok, thank you, Guillermo, sorry. No, no, que ya no, pues, teacher. No, 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 sorry. que ya no, teacher. <ríe> no, pero hoy no me confundí con el nombre. Hoy me confundí con quién había participado, ok. No, pero hoy no me confundí con el nombre, que conste, ¿verdad? Ok, eh, who's next? Erika, please. Erika, can you read all the sentences, please, for the class? Ok, teacher. We should go out for dinner tonight. Tonight. On tonight. the tea, then tonight. We shouldn't for dinner tonight. He shouldn't go to that movie every day. Mm -hmm. Look, listen, listen. This go, 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 go to the movies. Go to the movies every day. Good. He should take a nap. She, she, this, she, 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 she. she She'll take a nap this afternoon. Okay, okay. My daughter, my daughter shouldn't go to bed at 11 o'clock. Very good. Now, uh, please read it fluently, natural. Something like, my daughter shouldn't go to bed at 11. Okay, come on, go ahead. My daughter shouldn't go to bed at 11. Cling. Congratulations. You deserve clap from, from Doodly, right? You deserve. Se merece. La, la aplausos de Doodly, right? Thank you. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, let's continue with the next sentences. I will erase this. I will erase this. And let's go to sentence number five, right? Sentence number five. Okay. Um, then I say Erica. And then let me see who's next. Ah, Maribel. Maribel. Thank you, Maribel. Can you help me, please? Number five, please. Okay. You sure can you a little back later? Okay, Maribel. Should or shouldn't? What do you think? Sure. Sure, right? Please choose because it's necessary to call the brother, right? Thank you, Maribel. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Clarissa, please. Number six, Clarissa. Oh. Okay, teacher. Number six. Okay. It's sería... oh. We. We shouldn't, 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 um, espérame, mm, espérame, no, 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 go. Oh, I'm sorry, no, perdón, me, me, me emocioné sí. ahí, sí, sí, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, uh, 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 driver, Okay, and the verb, Clarissa? Ah, the sí, name? perdón. Uh -huh. Sería, and it shouldn't, no go. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. When you say shouldn't, no, uh, you include... Porque es negativo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Okay, it's sí, not necessary. Shouldn't, shouldn't no, go. only only shouldn't. Okay, you shouldn't go. Uh -huh. Go. Go okay. for a drive today. Okay, thank you, Clarissa. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. We shouldn't okay, go teacher. for a drive today. We shouldn't go to for a driver today. 
Excelentoso. Very good. Uh -huh. Solo por eso va a pasar you, Julio saludándolo. Ah, ok. <ríe> Qué bonito. Ok, okay. let's continue, please. Uh, Brian. Number seven, Brian. Uh, yes. Sure, sure, sure. Uh -huh. But what is the subject, Brian? You, you not you, you, you not okay. no you should not go up. you oh, sorry ah, you shouldn't shouldn't not go up. Okay. wait give me a second right wait wait so when i say shouldn't brian i am including i am including the word not right i'm uh, not for sure uh -huh, yes so go to the verb. Let's go to the verb. Uh -huh. You shouldn't. You should go, go, go running at night. Running at night. Running at night. You shouldn't go running at night, right? Muy peligroso. Lo puede atropear un carro o le pueden asaltar o algo. Entonces, you shouldn't go running at night. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Brian. And uh, Alicia, please. Number eight, Alicia. Number eight. Your neighbor, neighbor who should come to our, our party. Your neighbor who should come. come to our party. To the party. Let's go to the party and let's take the elevator with Harry Potter. Okay. So <laughs> we, our neighbors should come to our party. That's nice. Now who's going to help me to read? Um, we're going to start again. Vamos a comenzar de nuevo con el listado de arriba para abajo, right? So Brian, help me reading all the sentences, right? You, you should, you should send, no. you should call, you should call, you should call, you should call your brother back later. Later, later, right? Or later, yeah. you can say later or later. Mm -hmm. later, later. Number six. It's, uh, we should shouldn't go for Brian, listen listen we, Brian. we shouldn't we shouldn't go for a drive today today go drive listen drive b b drive drive uh -huh. number seven you you shouldn't but run it at night. Okay, continue. Your net. Como se dice esa palabra? Neighbors. Neighbors. Your neighbors should come to our party. Our party, right? Or party, if you want. Our party. This sentence, Brian, try to say it. Uh, fluently, right? You say, your neighbor should come to our party. Come on. Your, your neighbor should come to party. Okay. Nice, right? Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brian. Mr. Monterrosa Santo, right? Claps. Do let's say claps to you, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. We're going to discuss with the next exercise, right? El siguiente ejercicio, les soy honesto con ustedes. Me encanta el siguiente ejercicio. Así es que vamos a tratar de aprovecharlo, ¿sí? Ok, vamos a ver. 
Okay, good. Listen. Should or shouldn't, right? He will have some positive things, some appropriate things, and we have some inappropriate things. Okay. Thank you, Jacqueline. Estado oyente, Jacqueline. Está bien. Muy bien. Digamos. Let's continue. Thank you, Jacqueline. Gracias por reportarse. Jacqueline, gracias por reportarse. Good. So here we have some uh, bad and some good or appropriate or inappropriate acts. Actuaciones o hechos o cosas que uno hace que son buenas o son malas. Appropriate or inappropriate. So we want to use should or should, right? For example, the first one is said by your names. Comerse la suya, right? Um, say hello to everybody, you know, greet everybody. Saludar a todo el mundo. Good morning, good morning, goodbye. See you later, Don Juan, Don Julio. Niña Chus, goodbye, you know. So say hello to everybody. To everybody, oh. Aquí me equivoqué, perdón, es everybody. Pero ustedes saben que es everybody, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Next one. Sleep on the sofa. Ah, ok, Kevin. Thank you for your commentary. Ok. Sleep on the sofa, right? Le gusta dormir en el sofá. Eso es bueno, malo, apropiado, inapropiado, right? A menos que, no sé, lo es. Lo hayan echado al cuarto. <laughs> y a la fuerza que dormir en el sofá. Bueno. Ok. Then, uh, el sleep in your clothes, you know. Dormirse con jeans, con camisa, con zapatos, si es posible. <laughs> sleep in your clothes, right? Eat late at night. Aquellos que van comiendo tipo... Ah, yes. Teacher. Ya hay sofá cama. Ah, ok. By experience, Maribel, por experiencia o, o alguien le ha contado, ¿no? ¿No? No, es sugerencias. Ah, no, no, ok. No, I just ask it, right? Solo preguntaba, Maribel. <ríe> Son bromas, no me voy a enojar. Eh, sí, sí, es cierto, hay camas, camas sofá, sí. Ok, anyway, right. Now, drink alcohol. Oh. No recommendable for Joel, right? Joel, is, this is not a recommendation. Read. Smoke at public places. You know, smoke at public places. Play sports. My bad habits. Hmm? ¿Qué hábitos malos tienen ustedes? Vamos a ver. Yo a veces tengo una maña que me toco la nariz, no sé por qué. Ok, o tenemos... No sé, que se van a dormir tarde o, o ven mucha tele o están con su celular y están viendo la tele a la vez. O se llevan el celular <coughs> al baño, <coughs> ok, etcétera, etcétera. Right, my bad habits. ¿Qué malos hábitos tienen ustedes? Vamos a ver. And then bad study habits, right? Hábitos malos de estudio. ¿Cuáles podrían ser? Good study habits o buenos Buenos hábitos de estudio. ¿Cuáles son? Por ejemplo, you should read every day. You should eh, check Google information. You should memorize vocabulary, etc. etc. Bad eating habits, right? Como comer sopa bien caliente y fresco bien helado, right? Ok. O, no sé, o burp, eructar, cuando está comiendo ahí en la mesa. O oh, speak with your mouth full, right? O hablar con la boca llena. O hacer mucho ruido, ¿verdad? When you eat, right? O oh, slurp. When you're drinking the soup. Right? Bad eating habits. Sleeping class, ¿ok? Dormirse en clase, por cierto. Vamos a chequear si alguien está durmiendo. Ah, Rosy, ya la vimos, Rosy. Sleeping class. <laughs> Tranquila, no me preocupes. Hasta ahora todos tenemos sueño. Uh, so don't worry. Sorry. No, 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 don't worry. No, don't say I'm sorry. Estoy molestando la Rosy. No hay problema, sí. Ok. Ok. 
sleeping class, right? Uh, or speed on the street. You know, speed on the street. Or in the house, you know. And then eat fruits. Eat fruits. On the speed. Speed, right? Escupir. Speed. Okay, good. Now, in this moment, please listen to me. Listen what we're going to say, right? I need you raise your hand and participate, right? Volunteers, volunteers. And you give me a commentary, right? You can choose any of these topics. Puedes escoger cualquiera de estos temas. Miren, cualquiera. ¿Sí? Pero si me escogen este de My Bad Habits, si me escogen este, van a hacerlo personal y me van a decir, ay, si por ejemplo, si ustedes fuman, espero que nadie fume, pero si alguien fuma, I shouldn't smoke, por ejemplo, ¿sí? O I shouldn't eat too much, o no debería comer demasiado, ¿verdad? O I shouldn't eat 10 pupusas, <ríe> no debería comer como 10 pupusas. Ok, o I shouldn't say mean words, no debería decir malas palabras, etcétera, etcétera. Aquí me dicen, ay, ¿va? Pero en los demás, en todos los demás, van a decir, you should or you shouldn't, right? Understand? Okay, and do not write. Hoy no vamos a escribir, hoy solo speak, right? En lo que lo piensan, pues voy a pasar la asistencia, please. Adelia. Bueno, espero que haya llegado a casita, Adelia. Brian. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vega. Mr. Vega. Claritza. Present. Thank you. Dani. Cada oyente, pero mándeme ahí el mensaje de asistencia, Dani. Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. Elmer. Ahí están los mensajes de asistencia, permítanme. Tengo a, a Dani, correcto, y a Elmer, excelente. Todos están los chicos trabajando y escuchando. Excelente. Ok. And then, Erika. Present, teacher. Thank you. Iván. Iván. Present Guillermo. teacher. Oh, good. Thank you, Ivan. Guillermo. Sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. No problem. Guillermo. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline. Si no pueden contestar, pueden mandar un mensaje, ¿verdad? Para que quede registrado en la clase, en la grabación que ustedes están presentes. Ok, Joel. Present. Carlos Amaya. Here. Thank you, Carlos. Car eh, Carla Beatriz. Kevin. Present teacher. Thank you. Giovanni. Alicia. Present teacher. Thank you, Stella. Present teacher. Mirna. Si no puede mandar un mensaje, Mirna, porque ya sé que está de oyente, ¿sí? En Rosy. Presente, chef. Thank you, Mr. Hernandez. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Now, participation. Raise your hand, please. You only have to say you should or you shouldn't. You should or you shouldn't. Y si me escogen esta de my, my bad habit, van a decir I should or I shouldn't, okay? Aquí dice malos hábitos, pero también pueden decir algo positivo, sí. Por ejemplo, I should go to see Alianza. Debería ir a ver a la Alianza jugar. Ah, es algo, es algo positivo. Yes. Por favor, tomemos la seriedad del caso. Es un ejemplo serio, ¿verdad? I should go to see Alianza. ¿Ok? Ok. Good. Volunteers. Don't leave me alone, please. No me dejen solito. Come on, participation. 
I will help you. Aquí, Joel, excelente. Mire, mi amor, Joel, que está con gripe, ve. Está participando. Vamos, copiemos el ejemplo. Ok, Joel, please, direct example. Eh, ok. Uh, uh, I should eat fruit. fruit. Excelente. I should... Continue, continue. Uh, study English. Study English. Good. Uh, I should sleep. Sleep in your clothes. 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 I shouldn't smoke a, a cool place. Places. Uh -huh. uh, I should. I should re, re, a read. Book. Read a book. I should uh, read a book. Read a book. Read a book. Uh, I shouldn't drink alcohol. Uh, alcohol, alcohol. I shouldn't, yeah. alcohol. I shouldn't, I shouldn't ache late at night. Yes, y no le van a dar pesadilla bajo él. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. I like it. Thank you. Okay. Now, class, you see the example of Joel. Now, other student, please. More participation. Um, example the ah well you want to continue go ahead well yes more example well no quiero mm. más ejemplos yes come on continue okay <laughs> sorry no 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 that's okay I mean quieres seguir well no hay problema uh, so, so, solamente eso había hecho ah okay good nice again clap right clap to you and listen Así como le hacen a Messi. ¿eh? Thank you. Ok, good. <laughs> nice. Other student. Cuando los estudiantes no participan, miren la reacción del teacher. Ok, thank you, Erika. Very good. Now, please, give me some examples, Erika. I should read more. Ajá. Uh -huh. I shouldn't sleep in class. Yes. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't buy. You shouldn't buy your name. Uh -huh. uh, you should say hello to everybody. My goodness. More perfect, impossible, Erika. Nice. I like it. I like your example, right? Anybody else? My brave students, mis estudiantes valientes, ¿quiénes son? Vamos a ver. Me. Thank you, Rosy. <laughs> uh, repetir, teacher, alguna? Of course. Yes, no problem. Okay. I should, shouldn't buy your nails. No, my nails. My nails. Mm, my nails. Ajá. Sí, porque usted no le puede morder la, la, las... Ah. Las una a otra. <ríe> a no ser que sea una, una ovejita, así como la que tiene Maribel. Bye. Ok. Ah. I shouldn't buy uh, my, my nails. My nails. Ah, Continúa, Rosy. Uh, o sea, de que esas solo son my... Yes, if you want, si quiere hacerlas personal o si quiere darlas como sugerencia. Cuando es sugerencia, diga, you should o you shouldn't. Pero si es personal, es I should o I shouldn't. ¿Ok? Come on. I, sh I, I should read book. Yes? Yes, excellent. I I shouldn't sleep on the sofa. Okay. 
<laughs> you disagree with I, Joel, right? No está de acuerdo con Joel, dice que sí, bueno. <laughs> <laughs> no se descansa. Oh, yes. Yo, yo ni qué porque doy. I, <laughs> okay. I should play sports. Yes. I should eat fruit. Fruits. ¿Cómo se dice? Fruits. Yes. Fruits. I should. I shouldn't sleep in class. Nice, nice. Very good. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's enough, more than enough, right? Anybody else? Nobody? Okay. Thank you, everybody. Oh, Mr. Amaya, please. Uh, talking about you, Carlos, can you stay with me 10 extra minutes after the class? Okay. Good night. Oh, thank you very much. Juan Carlos Jovel Amar. Okay, Carlos, give me your example, please. Okay, I shouldn't eat late at night. Or should I you? should, okay, I should eat veggies. <laughs> nice. You do? You do? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's but why I you should. say that, right? Yeah. <laughs> should. Oh, continue, continue. I like your. I should play sports. I should do exercise. Up and down. Up and yeah. Down. <laughs> and I should say hello to everybody. Yeah, especially in the morning. Did. Yes, it's, it's a custom, you know. Sometimes, well, in the city, it's, a, it's very complicated. But in the country, everybody says, "Buenos días, Buenos días." Yeah. So, but in the in the city, maybe because we are a lot, right? Yes. Teacher, una pregunta. Disculpe que los interrumpa los dos. No, no. Usted interrumpa. Dice... Clarice, usted puede interrumpir. Yes. No hay Disculpe que nos interrumpa, ¿verdad? Los dos. Ese ahí donde dice eh, everybody, ahí está, no está le falta la, sí, sí, la, R. la R. Sí, se ha equivocado. Sí, okay. no, disculpa. No, sí, es que eso está viendo que le faltaba una letra. Mire, a saber quién hizo esa presentación, ¿no? Ya lo voy a regañar ese que hizo la presentación. Eso estoy viendo, Félix. Sí, porque ha equivocado ahí. ¿Qué le hacemos? Everybody. ¿Qué le, le hacemos a ese señor que se equivocó ahí haciendo esa presentación? Dígame. Despidámoslo. Despid no, no, tanto no. Que haga plana, va. Que haga plana. <ríe> eh, ese señor que se equivocó no. es, alian es aliancista, le voy a contar. <ríe> ok. <good. ríe> Thank you. Now, eh, Carlos, do you have any for example? Or that's all? Um, that's all. Ok. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ok. Again, you know, like my assistant is always clapping for everybody, right? Okay. Now, um, let's see, right? So I guess we complete everything about the use of should and shouldn't, right? I have no more, yes. And now we're going to go to the manual, right? We're going to go to the manual. Let me see. No, no, no. Sorry, I have an extra exercise. Por aquí tengo un ejercicio extra. By the way, right? That's it, right? Okay, class. Now, uh, the models can and should, right? We're going to listen. Vamos a escuchar estos ejemplos porque no pude encontrar el tema solito, ¿verdad? Así que lo voy a compartir con el can también. Pero ustedes fíjense en este. In the use of should in affirmative and should in, in right Page there. 75, exercise 8, grammar focus. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can go to outdoor markets. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the Palace of Fine Arts. You shouldn't miss the Museum of Modern Art. 
Okay, so this is the structure, right? Notice that we can make a question, right? We, we can make yes, no question, for example. Should I go to the doctor? Mm, yes, you should. Should I play chess? I had it, right? Should I play chess? Yes, yeah, you should. Should I drink petrol? No, you shouldn't. Okay. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, you can say with what? Look. What should I see there? What should I eat? Right? What should I eat? Well, in the case of Mr. Amaya, he should eat veggies, right? <laughs> okay. What should I see? What should I uh, study? Why should I play, etc. Et and then you say in affirmative, the subject you, that is the you know, subject, should, that is the model in this case, right? And BC, that is the verb, and then the complement, right? And notice the way we make the sentence in negative. You, and shouldn't, and me, no te debes perder. El museo, right? The museum. Of mother on is it right? Questions? Do you have questions, class? Teacher. Yes. Eh, estas, estas que nos está compartiendo, eh, que dice what should I see there? Mm -hmm. Se puede formular de esa manera también la pregunta. Yes, of course. Sí, claro. Podemos hacer preguntas de información, preguntas de sí y no, oraciones afirmativas y oraciones negativas. Mm -hmm. okay. En todas formas se pueden usar. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fíjese, Rosy, que es bien importante que desde el básico 1, por ejemplo, ustedes, ¿verdad?, eh, estructuran estructura en las oraciones básicas, como el presente simple y el verbo to be. Y si se fija, Rosy, eh, en todas las estructuras que vemos siempre es afirmativo, negativo y pregunta. Afirmativo, negativo y pregunta. Y así en todo, en pasado, presente, futuro, con el should, con el could, con el eh, Todo es así. Afirmativo, perdón, sí, sí, afirmativo, negativo y preguntas. Y las preguntas se dividen en dos. La de sí, no. Por ejemplo, digo, should I eat cake every day? And then you say, no, you shouldn't. Or should I drink water every hour? Yes, yeah, you should. So you say, yes or no, right? O like this, o como esta pregunta, what should I see? ¿Qué es lo que debería ver? Aquí no contestamos, what should I see there? And yes, you should. <laughs> no, right? Aquí contestamos, what? ¿Qué es lo que debería? Ah, you should visit the palace of fine arts, right? Or you should, or you shouldn't miss the museum of modern art. Ahí contestamos la pregunta, with what should I see there? Que no, no es un sí y un no, sino que es información específica, ¿verdad? Por eso ya vimos varios ejemplos de preguntas de información en este, en este curso, ¿ok? Class, thank you. No, thank you, Rosy, for your question. Thank you for your question, right? Siempre me agrada que me hagan preguntas. So we're going to practice pronunciation, right? Vamos a practicar la pronunciación. Listen to this conversation. Page 75, exercise 7, conversation. What should I see there? Part A, listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there next month, but for only two days. What should I see? Oh, you should definitely visit the Palace of Fine Arts. It's really beautiful. Okay. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Museum of Modern Art. It has some amazing paintings. Great. And is there anything I can do for free? Sure. You can walk in the parks, go to outdoor markets, or just watch people. It's a fascinating city. 
Okay? Now, listen. Listen and repeat. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Repeat, please. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Can you City? tell me a little about Mexico City? Okay. Sure. What would you like to know? 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 Uh, well, I'm going to be there next month. I'm going to be I'm going to be there next month. But for only two days. But for only two days. What should I see? What should I see? Oh, you should definitely visit. You should definitely visit. Visit, definitely. Should. You should definitely visit the Palace of Fine Arts. The Palace of Fine Arts. It's really beautiful. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Museum of Modern Art. Art, modern, museum, museum, miss the museum. You shouldn't miss the museum of modern art. It has some amazing paintings. It has some amazing paintings. Great. And is there anything I can do for free? And is there anything I can do for free? Free? Anything? Is there? And is there anything I can do for free? Sure. You can walk in the parks. You can walk in the parks. Go to outdoor markets. Go to outdoor markets or just watch people, or just watch people. It's a fascinating city. It's a fascinating city. Okay, now please repeat for the second time. Vamos a repetir la parte del audio, yes? Part A, listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know?
Well, I'm going to be there next month. But for only two days. What should I see? Oh, you should definitely visit the Palace of Fine Arts. It's really beautiful. Okay. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Museum of Modern Art. It has some amazing paintings. Great. And is there anything I can do for free? Algo así como, hay algo que pueda ser gratis? <laughs> okay, continue. Sure. You can walk in the parks. Go to outdoor markets or... Or just watch people. It's a fascinating city. Good. Any question? Any question about vocabulary, pronunciation, spelling? Just watch people as per personas. No, solo ver pasar a las personas. Perdón, lo que han pasado. Just watch people. More questions? Okay, so I need two volunteers to practice this conversation. I need a Thomas and an Elena, please. Elena. Me. Me. Uh, that is. Me. Uh, Estela, right? Estela. Yes, yes. Okay, Estela, you're Elena. I need a Thomas. Okay. Tomás Agua. Estela en. ¿Quién más? <laughs> Elena. Me. Uh, Rosy, right? Okay. okay. Rosy, uh, you are Tomás and Estela, you are Elena. Ready? Okay. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this presentation tonight. Uh, directly from Hollywood, California. Tonight we have Rosie and Estella. Action! <laughs> Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to the I'm going to be there next month, but for only the days. What you'll see? What should see? Should I see? Should I see? Oh, you shall definitely uh, buy, buy the Palace of Fine Arts. It's really beautiful. Okay. Anything <clears throat> else? You shall not miss the Museum of Modern Art. It has some amazing paintings. Great. And is there anything I can do for free? Sure. You can walk in the parks, go to outdoor markets, or just watch people. It's a fascin fascinating city. Okay. Nice. Thank you very much. Good pronunciation. I like it. I like it. Okay. Anybody else? Who wants to practice it? Or let's go for the manual. Okay, let's go to the manual, right? We still have 
Now for an hour, yes, we, we still have time, right? Okay. Let me see. See, we have the man, right? Okay. This is uh, the next lesson is page number 31, right? And he says, right, uh, I will be able to react to appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work, right? So um, does your company have regulations about employees? Behavior? When I say regulation is, for example, no smoking, no mean words, no shouting, no hay que gritar, no coffee, uh, no jeans, mm, no eating. Mm, what else? No, no cell phones, uh, et cetera, et cetera. No football in <laughs> el mundial, paso eso. Okay, no, so what are the regulations? Volunteers, please. Volunteers. What are the regulations in créditos y negocios? O Misión Bautista, o Banco Cucatlán, o Aldeas Infantiles, o Intelfon. What are the regulations, please? Rosie. Yes. Okay, good. Tell me. El diálogo teacher. Sorry, I don't copy. Excuse me, Rosie. No, no, no entiendo, Rosie, perdón. Estamos hablando. Eh, no, no, de no. La... Sí, perdón, discúlpeme. Ahorita le explico, Rosie. Es que okay. para comenzar la lección, a veces hay unas preguntas. Miren, se llama Let's Start. Eh, perdón por no haberles mostrado aquí directamente y dice uh, si su compañía Rosy tiene ciertas regulaciones acerca de cómo usted debe comportarse en la compañía y esa es la pregunta yes or no dónde está eso teacher ah aquí en el número uno mire let's start yes teacher does, does your company have regulations about employee behavior yes or no Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, Name three examples of unacceptable behavior. Deme tres ejemplos de cosas que no se deben hacer en su compañía. Y más casa, right? Yes. Uh -huh. I I should I shouldn't late. I shouldn't come. I shouldn't come late. Uh -huh. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, um, no sé cómo se dice marcar. Eh, this is, permítame, me acuerdo cómo se dice esto, es, ya lo vamos a buscar. Deme la otra, please. Um, I, 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 should, I shouldn't, um, I shouldn't walk the lines uh, in the floor, on the floor. Okay. Caminar uh, por las líneas. I understand. Uh, that are not permitted, right? Hay ciertas líneas que no son permitidas. Yes. Por la maquinaria, me imagino, por el producto uh -huh. que está. No es yes. no peligroso. Uh, uh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't use. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Los guantes. Ah, ok. Gloves. Glove. 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 Gloves. Mm. Mm. I shouldn't use shoes industrial. Ah, industrial shoes. You should wear, you should wear. Recuérdese que cuando es eh, zapato, ropa, relojes, Ajá. no se usa wear, no se usa use, sino que wear. I should wear eh, industrial I shoes. Should, I, should wear, I shouldn't wear industrial shoes. End of examples, right? Um, 
marcar tarjeta se dice de varias formas. Mire, se dice... Eh, es, es, es de rostro. De rostro. Yes. Sí, aplica esto. Clock, clock in, quiere decir eh, marcar el reloj entrada. Y si va de salida, clock out. Clock okay. in y clock out, cuando usted se va. También okay. otra forma de decirlo es punch. Punch quiere decir como sacar un hoyito en la tarjeta, porque si se recuerda, en el pasado, eh, usted metía su tarjetita y el, y el, el marcador le, le, le uh -huh. tenía en la tarjeta y el, el jefe veía que usted... Este, es cierto. Llegado, llegado Recuerdo las trampas que hacía. Ah, ah, de verdad, cuénteme, cuénteme. <risa> Llegaba tarde y lo que hacía que la, la perdía. <risa> ok. <risa> sí, me hace que usted también esté copiando los exámenes, Rosy. <risa> Ahora voy a mandar el rostro antes. <risa> ah, bueno, sí. O, o mire, o se saca una foto y le dice a su compañero, mira, poneme la foto ahí. <risa> Siempre hay forma, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Eh, unas niñas en un examen. Teacher, deje de ser tremendo, me está enseñando a Rosy, por favor. No, eh, ella me está diciendo cosas, yo no sé. Además, el pasado y en el presente ya no se puede. ¿sí? Ah, no, en el presente no, ya no. Bueno, ya. No se puede, sí. Pero, por eh, eso estoy usando el Cuden, Maribel. Ajá, yes. Y también, este... Esas chicas que les digo, habían puesto la copia, ¿saben dónde? En el papelito del, del, del chelito, del, del botecito. Ay, sí. Ahí habían, y, y nadie las había, dar, había dado cuenta. Tan, en fin, tantas cosas que para hacer trucos, ¿verdad? Pero Exacto. ustedes no copian. No, Aquel no. día Clarissa le estaba dando copia, pero yo sé que fue solo... Se le chispoteó, como dicen, ¿verdad? <risa> <laughs> Se le chipoteó a Clarixa que le está dando la copia. Okay, now please, we're going to practice this conversation. I have this conversation. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, no, 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 no entiendo este Joel. Hay que les. Eh, Decían a menudo a la copia que anotaba en letras pequeñas. Un papel. Es nuevo para mí, Joel. Sí, le decían a menudo. Ah, bueno, fíjense que en mi tiempo no, solo le decían la chepia. Pásate la chepia. <risa> bueno, la menuda. Es, es nuevo para mí. Ok, we have this conversation. Let's listen. We have this conversation. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. Por ahí creo, ¿verdad? Let me see. Okay. Uh, he says, Claudia, right? Claudia says, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You are right. He should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. That's not polite. Uh, he should answer his messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him instead, right? Claudia y Raúl están en una, en una reunión. ¿no? Entonces se ponen a chambrear entre ellos. O así pinche, ¿verdad? Se ponen a criticar a Robert, que solo pasa en el celular, ¿verdad? Yo sé que aquí no hay nadie, aquí nadie usa el celular para estar viendo memes y cosas así. No, yo sé que no. Sí, bueno, eh, pero lo que resulta chistoso es que están en medio de la reunión y ellos se dedican a criticar. Siempre hay alguien así en el trabajo. Entonces, tampoco es pues, amable que estén hablando de alguien y el fulanito enfrente de ellos ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, no es polite. ¿Ok? So listen, again, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a minute. Absolutely. That's not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. 
and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. Estoy de acuerdo. I agree. We should help him instead. Instead. En lugar de eso, instead, so, en, lugar, en lugar de eso, deberíamos ayudarlo. So please, repeat after me. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. You're right. Está en lo correcto. Es cierto. He should not shut in a meeting. He should not shut in a meeting. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is not polite. That is not polite. He should answer his messages. He should answer his messages after the meeting. He should answer his messages after the meeting. And we, sorry, and we should not talk about him. About him. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Tampoco eso es amable. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him instead. We should help him instead. Good. Questions about vocabulary? Pronunciation? Questions? Questions? Either, teacher. Either, tampoco. Eso, either. Tampoco, either. Eso no es amable tampoco. That's not polite either, right? Mm -hmm. Smoking is not a good habit. It's not good. And drinking is not good either. It's not good either, right? Fumar no bueno, pero tampoco lo es. El beber, el ser borrachín. <laughs> Either, tampoco, either. Good. Any other question? No, okay. So let me see who's going to help me put this conversation. Vamos a ver. Quiero ver quién me va a ayudar con esta conversación. Vamos a pedir a cuatro chicos. Eh, let me see. Uh, Ivan, please. Ivan, you are Raul. And Maribel, you are Claudia, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. I can't believe it, Robert, is addicted um, to his poem. Did you see hi? Your out. He is cool. Sure, sure. No chat. I mirror. Miran, miran. Absolutely. That is not polite. She. Shows our. He. Messenger after a meeting. And. And we sure not take a book, a book, him. Policy earth. Maribel, continue. Agree. Agree. We show him high instinct. Okay, thank you very much. Look, this is see him. 
See him. See him. See him. See him. See him. See him. And then you say, see him. See him. Mm -hmm. See him. With M at the end, right? And then should. Should answer. Should answer. Answer. Messages. 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 Mm -hmm. And talk about him. Talk about him. About him. About him. About him. Tiene que escucharse la M al final. Oigan. About him. About him. About him. Talk about him. Okay, good. About him. Talk about him. No, about him. About him. About, about him. him. Maribel, about, about him. him. About him. No, no, no. Him. About him. About him. Okay, very good. That's it. Either. 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 Help Either. him. Help him. Helping. Help. Ah, him. nice, Maribel. Very good. That's it. Helping. Instead. Helping. Instead. 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 No. Instead. 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 Very good. Instead. So, Estela, thank you very much, Maribel and Ivan. Uh, Estela, you. please. You are Claudia, Estela. Yes, teacher. And Guillermo, please. Guillermo, you're going to be Raúl. Okay. Ready? One, yes. two, three. Okay. Action. Okay. I can believe it. I can believe it. Robert is addicted to his pawn. Did you see him? You're right. He should. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolute. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meetings, and we should not talk about him. That's not polite. 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 Agree. We shall help him instead. Okay, nice. And agree, right? Uh, Estela y Guillermo, ¿les puedo hacer una observación? Yes, teacher. No se molestan si le hago Digo, teacher. No, claro que no. Vale, permítame. Okay, ya le hice la observación. Todo está bien. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. <laughs> Now, let's continue, please. Let's continue. Uh, here we have, vamos a hacerlo más pequeñito. Sí. Eh, bueno, ni tan pequeñito. Quiero ver para que lo alcancen a ver, porque creo que Maribel está en celular, ¿verdad, Maribel? Va ahí, creo. No, no. Hoy tiene tablet, Maribel. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Casi no se ve. Entonces, creo que hasta ahí dice. What are some polite behavior you expect from, from your co-workers? ¿Qué tipo de, de, de conducta esperarían ustedes de sus compañeros? ¿Mm? Por ejemplo, puede ser eh, no decir malas palabras, eh, no robarse en grapadoras o o destruir material o, o llevarse mercadería a casa podría ser respeto de los hombres hacia las mujeres verdad porque las compañeras el más de trabajo... básico. sorry Maribel el más básico de un compañerismo es respeto compañerismo okay. colaboración Cooperation, right? Okay. Eso se esperaría de los compañeros. ¿sí? No, no es que anden hablando detrás de uno o que hagan conductas como fumar, beber o decir malas palabras o peor aún, ir con, ir, ir con el águila, ¿no? Ok. ¿Cuáles son eh, algunos 
comportamientos. What are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expected to? Like I say, right? Y respect the coworkers. Especialmente si es una señorita, pues. Ya no es que las mujeres valgan más que los hombres, sino que, que merecen un poco más de respeto, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? O tal vez, don't talk back to the boss, right? No, no contestarle al jefe cuando le diga al jefe hay que ir a hacer algo. Hay que hacer nuestro trabajo, ¿no? aunque no nos guste. Hay que hacer, ¿ok? Good. And here we have the concept of behavior. Esto ya lo habíamos visto, ¿verdad? The way that someone acts in different situations. ¿no? Como las personas actúan en diferentes situaciones. And here we have some examples. The company expects polite behavior from all the employees. La compañía espera que los empleados, pues, sean amables, ¿verdad? Especialmente si trabajan con el público. ¿Verdad? Si sí, yo trabajo con el sistema público de educación. Y pues hay compañeros que no entienden que que es de los niños que a uno le dan el salario, ¿verdad? Entonces, siempre debemos ser amables con todos. Más si son niños, en nuestro caso, como maestro, ¿verdad? Entonces, we have yeah. to expect behavior. Eh, no tengo maestros en el grupo, ¿verdad? Bueno, de la que se libra. Bien, teacher. Uh, teacher. Estela. Contratado. Sí, yes, ah, teacher. Okay. Bueno, ok, Estela. Entonces, Estela, ¿trabaja con chicos o con adolescentes, Estela? Um, chicos y adolescentes de primero a sexto grado. Ok. Usted está con el padre Arrupe. Así es. Excelentoso, sí. Entonces sabe a qué me refiero, ¿verdad? Que... Sí, ticha. Sí. Nos debemos a los niños. La verdad es que hay niños tremendo. <risa> le, le absorben toda la energía a uno, ¿eh? Sí, Estamos pero uno. también un abrazo de ellos le cambian el día. Ah, definitivamente, <ríe> sí, ¿verdad? Son súper sinceros, así que eh, hay que mostrar respeto, ¿verdad? Por los compañeros, por el público, por los clientes, etc. Interrupt, interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior, right? Si alguien está hablando, ah, mira, y tal cosa. Y fíjate que en mi trabajo, yo, ah, mira, tal cosa. ¿Ok? Also, gossiping about coworker is rude behavior. No hay peor cosa que puede haber que un compañero chambroso. <laughs> okay, y digo compañero porque a veces hay compañeros varones que son peores, como dicen, que las mujeres, ¿verdad? Aunque Teacher, yo... no son chambrosos, son informativos. Son informadores, son comunicativos, son, son pasadores de información. Ah, sí, vale. sí está bien. Que la fulanita, mira el vestido que ha traído, sí, vos, y mira que es embarazada, y, y aquel bien y raro anda caminando. El sistema. <ríe> sí. Ok, good. So, behavior, behavior. Ok, let's continue, right? Now, the use of should and shouldn't, right? The guard should answer my good morning greeting, right? El seguridad debería contestar mi saludo. Generalmente los vigilantes siempre son educados, siempre contestan. Linda should greet with a firm handshake, right? Este, la costumbre en Estados Unidos es un, dar un dar el brazo de forma fuerte, ¿verdad? Eso demuestra seguridad. Entonces, Linda should greet with a firm handshake. The supervisor should use a greeting in his mail. El supervisor debería mandar un saludo antes de dar, de regañar a los empleados, ¿no? Siempre decir, good morning. ¿no? Good morning. You are in trouble. <ríe> Buenos días. Usted está en, en problemas. <ríe> Pero siempre que debe saludar. He should uh, use a greeting. You, say please, you should say please when you ask a favor, right? And then we have negative sentence. Look. Darío should not use many emojis. Hay gente que usa, ¿verdad? Hay un teacher ahí que, que hace presentación con un montón de dibujos. Abusa, teacher este. Ok. So he should not, right? He, he, Helen should not speak so loudly. Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes, right? Chiste sexista. Ok. 
no puedo un par, pero no los cuento, porque pueden ser ofensivos. De ambos lados, ¿va? contra ellos y contra ellos. <risa> ok. Your boss should not shout at you. El jefe no debe gritarle. O yell, yell, quiere decir gritarle a usted. ¿va? Yell. A... No deben gritar. Hay jefes gritones también, ¿verdad? Y compañeros. Quieren mandarlo a uno también. <risa> But not, you, no shout. No shout, no grita, right? Ok, class. Creo que hemos practicado bastante el uso del shoot y shooting. Estos son unos pequeños ejercicios. Pueden hacerlo en su... En su libro, en su manual. Libro, tío. Ah. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Ah, sí, sí, Clarissa, yo soy su tío. El no number page, teacher. Page, el libro, no, del, no, de, book. De manual o, o handbook. Ah, es Page 32. Page 22. No, 30. 30. 30. 32. 32. 32. Solo rapidito en la plataforma porque ya terminamos con la clase. Permítanme. Creo que estamos con la plataforma. Ok, estamos con la tarea 11 y la tarea 2. La tarea 11, por ejemplo, es simplemente de, de responder una de las opciones. Could you tell me where is the nearest bank? Where the nearest bank is? Would you mind? No, no le importaría pasar el menú. Could you lend me 20 dollars, please? Ah, ya no regresan. <laughs> so. What is it? One, two, three, four options. Look, four options. ¿Cuál de esas opciones es la correcta? Solo van a darle clic. Recuérdense que la plataforma es amigable. Si se equivocaron, vuelvan a intentar, ¿sí? Y si lo, se equivocaron, otra vez, ¿sí? Ok, y el task para ahora es este, ¿verdad? El uso de should y shouldn't. ¿Debería o no debería fumar en la cama? No, ¿verdad? Shouldn't. Muy bien. Y cross the street in red traffic light. ¿Debería con, con, eh, cruzarte la calle con la luz roja? Number three. That's a fantastic book. Si es un libro fantástico, ¿qué debería hacer usted? The doctor tell, told him that he should or shouldn't eat less. No debería comer mucho, eh, poquito. A la edad de los 15, él debería o no debería manejar un carro. Entonces, solo contestan. Class, thank you very much. I'll take the attendance. Vamos a tomar la asistencia y me quedo solo con este, Mr. Vega. No, 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 perdón. Mr. Amaya, sorry. Carlos, right? With Carlos Amaya. So, attendance. Eh, Adelia. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a good night, Adelia. Good night. Brian. Present teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Eh, Clarissa. Present teacher. Thank you, Danny. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Maribel. Present. Good night. Good night, night. Eh, Erika. Me manda el mensaje. Present to share. Oh, yeah, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Eh, Elmer. Me manda el mensaje, Elmer. Ah, no, si sí, Erika estaba de, de participante, me acordé. Sorry, que me había confundido. Iván. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Have a good night. God bless you. God bless you. Eh, Jacqueline. Thank you. Have a good night. Eh, Joel. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carlos. Amaya. Here. Thank you. Eh, no se me va a ir, Carlos. Please. Okay. Eh, perdón. Eh, Carla. Kevin. 
Present teacher. You, Giovanni. No, Giovanni. Okay. Eh, Alicia. Present teacher. You have a good night. God bless you, Mirna. Uh -huh. Por aquí está el mensaje de mí. Eh, tengo a Elmer, ajá, thank you, Elmer. Yo no me he mencionado, teacher. Mirna, eh, ¿ah? Guillermo. A mí no me mencionó, Guillermo, sí. Uh, perdón, está atento, pero sí, ya tiene la asistencia, Guillermo, I'm sorry. Have a good night, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, Mirna, please. Estela. Good night, teacher. Thank you. God bless you, Estela. Say hello to Lucas. Good night, teacher. Thank you. And Rosy. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. God bless Thank you. you. Right. You too. You too, Rosy. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Mr. Amoya. It's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do you have any question about any specific topic, Carlos? Mm, no. No, no question. Are you sure? Passive no. voice, infinitive, yeah. yes, should, could, would you mind? I don't. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good. So let's talk about, <laughs> about the class. What do you think of the class? What do you think of your classmates? Listen. Mm, it's everything okay with the class with the classmate okay nice it's everything good for you everything is is right uh, yes. were you studying in another academy before uh, carlo because i see you speak very well um yes i study at e4cc for oh. three or four months months That's it. and you but i learned but i learned I was learning since I was uh, nine ah, really? for myself. Yes. Okay, so, so you're autodidacta, auto yes. something like that. Right? Uh huh. Okay, nice. So it means that you like to see movies in English, right? Kind of. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you don't have the time. <laughs> okay. What about books? Mm -hmm. You read books? Um, not either. I don't like read. No. Oh. I see movies, but uh, in Spanish. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. What in about serious. Too. Serious too. What is your favorite? Yeah, thing? music. Music. Music is it? I hear music. English music. Last time I sent some oh. some song, right? For example, one of the songs that is my favorite song is uh, "One of Us." Have you heard this song before? The singer is Joan Olmo. No. What if God no. was one of us? No. You're very no, young. I never heard <laughs> You're very young. That's from yes. the 90s. From the 90s. It's a very awesome. I, I imagine you're from the 2000, right? 2001, 2001. No, the 95. 95? Seriously? Yes. For real? Yes. Yes. You look very young. Okay. Anyway, but um, tell me one one group or one band that you think is is good for you. But you know, from the oldies, right? Because nowadays for me, I don't know any group. <laughs> I don't know uh, any group really? about that. Yes. You just hear the song, right? Oh, come on. <laughs> Maybe some song or I think. Uh, I have one. I have one. Stand by me, right? When the now? Yes. <laughs> okay. I okay. hear that song. What about uh, the Bee Gees? No. no. You don't know anything? No. Okay. Uh, the Beatles? The Beatles are, you know, really popular, right? Yes. Yeah, you have heard about the Beatles. Okay. Good. Yes. So uh, honestly Queen. Queen, Queen too. Nice. 
Yes. The, the Killer Bee, Rhapsody of Bohemia. Mm -hmm. There is a song, uh, Carlos, the name is Bicycle. 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 And another of my favorite is I Want to Break Free. I Want to Break Free. To Break Free, <laughs> Kawa. And the, the video is really <laughs> nice. I like it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Anyway, yeah. um, as I told you, I, I, I have learned with, with, with music. I, I used to print the, the, the lyrics of the songs and I used to memorize them to memorize the summary. And after that, I was listening and tried to understand what were they saying. For my surprise, Carlos, those long, long time ago in the microbus, right? <laughs> they used to listen English music. Nowadays they listen, you know, but Bonnie and all kind <laughs> of garbage, right? But yes. in the past, I used to listen to music. And by my surprise, I was understanding what they were saying, you know? And then, oh my gosh, I understand. <laughs> yes. That was the beginning of everything uh, with me. So that's my recommendation. Right? And also, Carlos, I'm sending some uh, audio books. If you don't like to read, at least you can use your head headsets, your headphones, right? Yes. And you can read a book. Uh, I sent a book, the name is Oliverio Twist. And other that is one of my favorite is the the secret garden. It's about a a, a girl that uh, she became orphan, okay, and she she moved to England, right? In 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 the house they have a secret garden, and she goes to this secret. Okay, but the story is really good. What I'm trying to yes. tell you is that well if there is a movie too about this. What this book, The Secret Garden. So, but my recommendation is that if, if you have the time, right, try to do not read the full book because it's three hours, it's too much, but at least, I don't know, four or five chapters, right? It can, it, it can take like 20 minutes or 30 minutes, I don't know, I'm not sure. But it's a good practice. It's a good practice, believe me, it can help you a lot. For the pronunciation, okay. we cannot tell you anything because your pronunciation is, is perfect. Thank <laughs> the you. Pronunciation is really cool. Yes, indeed. And in fact, uh, in my opinion, you should be in, in intermediate, right? But I anyway, think that I too. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because. But it's good. Uh, um, it's good. Uh, the. Um, um to remember the the things that i forget because i think that i forget uh, a lot of things about english okay because i don't practice uh since uh two years ago three or four um, i don't remember yes yes nice talking about this i have a good one for you uh, you know the difference between remind and remember Remind and remember. and remember. What is the difference? Um, I don't <laughs> know. Remind, I think, is uh, like uh, about things or information that you forget and you um, and you remember again. You, and, and you're exactly that's it. And but remember is to bring something, uh, -huh. uh, yeah. Remembering. And remember is to bring something from the past to the present, right? Yes. You know exactly. a lot. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, another one, right? Uh, now we're talking about good English. The difference between advice and advice. Advice. Uh, and advice. I will I will copy for you. Let me let me share something here. I will copy here. Um, advice and advice. What is the difference between advice and advice? This is with S, advice. And this okay, is ad advice. Hmm? Um, the first one is when you give an advice, right? 
Kind of. Okay, continue, continue. The, the second one I never seen that okay. before, yes. Or maybe I don't remember. It's the same, but the difference is that this is now, right? And okay. This is verb. This is A the, verb. This is the verb, yeah. For example, I can say, I advise my friends about good behavior. Mm -hmm. She advises, she advises uh, her family, right? And when I say but but listen, the only thing is that you cannot say an advice. No, no, no. You can say only advice, give advice, because this is no countable now. Yes. Okay? Like homework, advice is no countable. Right? Some students say, ah, one homework, two homeworks. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just homework. It's no countable. Like this, right? You cannot say one advice, two advice, no, no. Just advice, right? Okay. okay. It was but it's the same thing. Uh, it's the same thing, right? No, no. Yes, it's the same. The only difference is that one is a noun and the other is, is the action, right? Understand? <laughs> yes. Okay, this is one of the things that we can talk about because, as I said before, you're really good. And what can I tell you? The bird to be, simple present. <laughs> no, come on. You, you manage all this topic, right? Yes. And, and I want to say thank you, Carlos, because you, you helped me with my class, you know, and when I need someone to give me a good pronunciation, a good example, say, hey, Carlos, please, Mr. Amaya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carlos. Have a good night. I hope to see you tomorrow, right? Okay. And yeah. do you have any extra question, Carlos? No. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Okay, bye. Bye. Take care.